Today's Wednesday, so what's up, Maddie? What's up? Um, yesterday was my birthday. <laughs> and I got a really, really, really cool ukulele. Yay! And it's it's pretty awesome. Got a chillo and like chillo. binocular glasses. But like this chillo, it's kind of cool. You put it in the fridge for four hours. And then it like it's like a pillow and it keeps you cool. But I made the mistake of uh, putting it in the freezer. And it says it in very bold letters. You don't you don't do that. It's like the first instruction. Do not put it in freezer. And they're like, let's put it in the freezer. Four hours. <laughs> so I think I broke my chillo. Yeah, it's now a chill knot. Sorry, Jess. I think we're gonna make it today. We're gonna make it. I have a guidance appointment exactly at like beginning of first period at 8.05 and we're never at school for 8.05 because someone yeah, it's not me. <laughs> has to spend five hours getting ready in the morning. I do not spend five hours getting ready and I was trying to eat a grapefruit today. He spends more time getting ready than I do. That might be true, but it's because <laughs> I get ready slowly. If I got ready mega fast, I could be right on time. What he doesn't realize is that like, I rush to get everything done and then I fix it in the car. Like I do my makeup in the car. I brushed my teeth in the car this morning. Yeah, but if she had three kids, then maybe, <laughs> maybe she would understand. Okay, so I'm just on my lunch break here and uh, it was such a nice day I thought, I'm gonna go for a hike. So I'm out here in the nice weather, hiking away. It's just starting to snow. It's really beautiful out. I'm listening to my audio book on my phone. I mean, it's great. It's just great. I suggest that if you're anywhere near a trail or anything like that and you're on your lunch break, take the time, go outside, enjoy it. Because most people don't get to be this lucky, man. So get out there. So I'm almost done my hike. And I'm realizing that it's so much easier to go down a hill than it is up a hill. Oh. I have to go all the way up there. And I'm really tired. I think I should start working out again. Because I'm starting to get a little bit fat too. Vicky's always like, oh, look at that big fat belly you're getting. I can't help it, man. I love food. It's so good. And I hate working out. I like being outside though, so. Maybe if I keep doing stuff like this, on my lunch break and everything, it'll help me lose some of that belly fat. I'm not like a big sumo wrestler or anything, but I'm starting to get like second, third rolls, you know? So anyways, I'm gonna try and make it up to the top of this hill and back to work on time to finish my lunch break, or for get back to work, I guess, not finish my lunch break. All right, this hill is so big. About halfway up. Oh. I'm starting to sweat so bad. I hope I can cool off before I have to go back to the office. I don't want to be that sneaky, sweaty guy. I did it. Yeah. Take that hill. Whoo. Man. That's a serious workout. Walking in the snow is tough. I don't care who you are. It's tough. Oh. It was really fun, but I'm glad that hill is over with. Now I'm gonna go pound back the rest of my lunch and get back to the office and be the sweaty, stinky guy that everybody tries to avoid. <laughs> okay, watch this. Levi's gonna walk. Ready, Levi? Here we go. He's walking. He's walking. Levi's walking. Ooh, go Levi. <laughs> Keep going. Keep holding your feet. Good job, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> what are you going to jump to? Uh, are you going to jump? <laughs> I think someone wants your attention. <laughs> I'll play airplanes with you as soon as we're done walking, okay? So, what's so. No, guys. Go tickle Abney. 
Chum, 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 chum. Good chum, job, buddy. Chum, chum. Ow. <laughs> yeah, good it's job. Steady. Yay. <laughs> Abney and Malik and I are going to hang up those airplanes we made yesterday on the fan. And then we're going to turn the fan on and let them fly. Is not like fun? Are you guys excited? Yeah! Do mine first! Do mine first! Okay. Here goes Abony and Malachi's plane for takeoff. Why is it going fast? It's gonna go fast. It gets faster and faster. Wow. Whoa! Cool, eh, Malachi? Malachi's like in trance. If, this is a good tip. If your kids are going wild and you want them just to be quiet and sit down, Attach these planes to a fan, and then watch, look. They're both, they're both being quiet. Keep kids. Now do mine next again. Okay. Do my pink ones right now. I think we'll just do two. One. Two, three, two, three. Two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. So this morning I was going to eat a grapefruit and I haven't had one since I was a kid so I couldn't remember exactly how to prepare it. So I cut it in half and then I put some sugar on top of it and I started trying to gouge out the pieces of a grapefruit and then Maddie came to the door she's like, hurry we gotta go, I don't wanna be late, I have a guidance appointment. So she was like trying to rush me and then I'm trying to freaking gouge out and I got through like half of one half of a grapefruit and then I had to just quit. And then I'm at work, my own business and I get an email from Vicky that says, uh, how to eat a grapefruit. And I'm like, what's this? So I click on it and it's like the dumbest looking dude. Uh, actually, it wasn't that dumb. So you're probably gonna see his video. So I if he's on this watching this, you're not that dumb looking, but you made a silliest video. Uh, it seems like uh, like an idiot's guide to how to eat a grapefruit. And she sent it to me and it was really funny. I felt really embarrassed. Anyway, so now I know how to eat a grapefruit. I'm gonna eat it right tomorrow.